Shoppers in Westmoreland there, but what do you think? Join the conversation using the hashtag Kent Says. Uh, joining me now on the sofa is Professor Tim Luckhurst from the University of Kent to talk a little bit more about President Trump. So, first of all, um, Tim, why are uh, so many people talking about th this inspection? Why is it so important? Well, the health inspection of the US president is important because the US president is the most powerful man in the world. He does literally have power over America's nuclear arsenal. It matters that he should be physically and mentally fit. And checks on the president's health have been common, certainly since the Second World War. And, and, and how, in how much detail is it, really? Well, the cognitive test, which President Trump has been so pleased to talk about, isn't detailed at all. This is really simply about establishing that there are no signs of dementia. That's what it's designed for. So it doesn't prove that he's smart, and it certainly doesn't prove that he's a genius, as he asserted after Michael Wolff's book, Fire and Fury, was published. This is a test to prove that he hasn't actually got diminishing faculties. Well, they're not diminished, but that doesn't mean they were great in the first place. Because during the campaign with Hillary Clinton, he did make a lot about his health, didn't he? Well, he did, yes. He made it clear that he thought he was in much better shape than she was. Interesting claim. After all, it is the case that Hillary Clinton had had some fairly high profile health problems. Mr. Trump, on the other hand, is 71 years old, six foot three inches tall, has an appalling diet, but doesn't drink and doesn't smoke. Physically, he's probably in reasonably good shape, according to his doctors. But whether he is clever, and that's the thing that he's upset about, he's upset because Michael Wolff's book, based on countless interviews in the White House, in the West Wing, with senior members of his staff, suggests that most of the people around the president think he's not fit for the job, that frankly, he's not clever enough. Mr Trump wants to prove he is. This test proves nothing of the sort. Tim, thanks very much indeed.